Hey guys, welcome back. And today I'm going to be talking about my hair, which is in a bun right now, so you guys don't know. But I'm doing a Kendra's Boutique review. So pretty much I bought two bundles of hair. I bought a 12 and a 16. It came up to about like $84 and I did get the Brazilian Body Wave. So I didn't do the initial review because I just kind of feel like of course, everything's good when you first get it. Like, let me wear it and see what's good, and then I'll do my review. So I've been having this hair now for a couple of months. I haven't been wearing it for a couple of months, but I've had it for a couple of months. I wore it for about, I want to say the first time I wore it for about a week, and I took it out, and then I wore it like a month later for about a week. I'm just that type of chick. I change my hair like every week. So, yeah. So this hair I wore it before in the Jeffree Star review that I did is just some red hair. I actually dyed it red. So I'm just going to take it down and show you guys how it looks now. So uh, the other day I did wash the hair and blow dried it. So this is what it looks like. Really pretty color, but I didn't get it this color like I stated. And this is a U part, so I had it already sectioned off. So I made a U part off the wig. And I just sew it down on my hair. And I didn't do a video on that because it's like a million videos on you parts. So this is my leave out from the front. And I'm just going to put this up out the way. So we just going to fold that up. Out the way. There we go. All right. So I'm the hair, when I first got it, of course, it was really gorgeous, really silky. Um, it stayed like that that first week. Um, when I took it out and washed it is when it got a little bit, like, I want to say thick. I don't know how to explain it, but the hair got, like, more thick. It wasn't, like, a real silky texture when I first got the hair. So, um, and then also the ends start to look a little ragged, but that wasn't the hair. I think it's just the really over-processing of the dyeing. Like, I had to bleach the hair. And so it was like a white color almost. And then I put the red on top, but it was like a candy red. And I was like, nah. So I did it again. It was like a Rihanna red. And I'm like, nah, because I'm brown, you know. So then I did it again. And then that's how I got this color. And I was like, yes. So this is like a deep, deep red, like a burgundy. And this is what I was trying to get. So I think that's when it started getting dry. Let me just section off my hair so I can be doing it while I'm talking to y'all. So I'm going to curl the hair up because uh, I don't think I really want to wear it straight. So I'm just taking the top section and I'm going to put this up out the way so I can do the bottom half. Yeah. Sectioning it off. Boom. Okay, so I'm going to start off on this side. So overall, the hair has been pretty cool. Like, I haven't had a lot of shedding like now. Let me just see. So now that I'm combing it after I dyed it and everything, I'm starting to get a little bit of shedding. Not much. You probably can't even really. Can you see? It's a couple of strands in there. It's a couple of strands in there. But, and then I did cut the wefts. Of course, when I made my U part, I did cut it. But I want you to see how it straightens. Bone straight. Right? But then when you curl it, it is gorgeous. I wore the hair curly when it was in its black state, its natural state. See? Bomb curls. So, I mean, you can take the curls, I mean, take the, the size, however you want it. I normally do it pretty small because I like it to be really, really nice and defined. Bro. So, I'm like four minutes into this video. So, I don't know. I really seem... I think I really like the hair, but um, let me see cons. What can I say? The hair had a like a process smell to it when I got it, and I didn't like that. Like I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if this is sound weird, but have you ever like smelled somebody that had a jerry curl or like some type of perm or something? Like that's what it kind of remind me of, like jerry curl juice or something. And I was like, uh, -uh. but. I mean, after I, I washed it, like, twice, and I let it sit in the conditioner, it was gone. See that? And this is, this is blow-drying. This is blow dry. How you say it? Blow-drawn? Blow-dried. This is blow-dried, and this is um, flat-ironed and curled. So, it's really decent hair. Let me just speed it up. 
I just want to show you guys the finished look of it. I'm not going to go in real detail with the curls like I normally would. Um, but that's the only thing was the smell was weird. Really like, hmm, what is this? I thought this was supposed to be virgin um, hair, like Brazilian hair. But that, yeah, the smell was really funky. And then um, when I washed it, the hair had a slight wave. Of course, it wasn't as wavy as when you first get it. It was a really, really deep wave. All right, what else? I'm trying to think of, like, when I watch hair reviews, what I'd be like, dang, you didn't even tell me. Oh, you know how, like, in the back up by the end of your neck, like, the nape area, I do get tangling there. Like, yeah, I do get tangling there. And then now that the hair is a little bit older, I can't really run my hands through it. Like, if I run my hands through it, like, say, for instance, this side, like, I can run my hands through it now because I just combed it. But, like, say if I had it down for, like, some hours and I ran my hair, like, right up in this area, it'll get stuck. It'll be like, Ugh. So, yeah, that's something that I don't like. And then also, um, I noticed that, like, I would have to have a brush with me. So, like, at least every, like, three to four hours, I would need to go over it, like, brush it, make sure it's no kinks, make sure it's not looking all coagulated up in the back. Mm-mm. So, yeah, like, I see how that got stuck a little bit. That's the only thing with the hair is, like, if you're the type of person that you don't want to have to touch your hair, like, you just do it in the morning, and you don't want to have to touch it, I really wouldn't recommend it. And I was, I could say I was kind of disappointed with that because you have people like Black China and other celebrities promoting this hair, and their hair is just flowing and bomb. So I'm like, well, what are they getting? Because that's what I want. Don't give me some, like, crap virgin. And you give them some really, really good product. Because, you know, ultimately we're the consumer. We're actually spending money on the hair. And these celebrities, they're just getting these hair for free to review or to promote. So, but I mean, at the end of the day, the hair is good. I probably would buy it again. And not dye it because I think maybe that's what it is. I think because I dyed it and then I didn't buy like color treating items. Like, you know, like color treating shampoo and certain other little things that I know you're probably supposed to have. Because this is my first time like really dyeing something. So the hair is gorgeous. Let me do the top. And then what else? So when you wet the hair, like I said, it does have a slight wave. So you can get away with just wearing this in its natural state if you don't have a lot of leave out. I left up quite a bit of my hair out for this U part just because just because I didn't want to have to. I don't know. I don't know why I left a lot out, but I did and I actually like it. It makes it look really natural. Let's see. I just curl my hair. So hopefully this is a good video. I do have another review to do for the Diamond Virgin, the Diamond Dynasty Virgin hair. I have a U part. It's in there literally drying as we speak because I wore it. And now I'm ready to get my review on it. So I just washed it so you guys can see what it is in its natural state. And y'all, y'all want to see that review. Before y'all buy some hair for them, y'all want to see that review. I ain't gonna say if it's good or bad. Y'all just gotta wait. So, see? Pretty decent hair. Almost done. Just wanna give y'all a finished look. I can say when I did wear the hair straight, it was kinda nice and flowy. Um, it looks more like, you know, African American hair, flat ironed and straightened. It wasn't like, a super over processed looking straightener or like a, a real silky straight type of vibe. I'm doing this real fast, y'all. And this is my favorite color. I think if y'all seen my first video, my um, get to know me tag, burgundies and pinks, but this specific color of burgundy, ooh. Is my fave. I'm missing a piece. Yeah, here we go. Split this. 
and I'm gonna show you my hair is already straightened um but I'm gonna show you guys how my real hair blends in with this hair which is pretty awesome So overall, the hair is pretty decent, but I don't know, you guys, what is your guys' favorite hair company? Because I'm really trying to find a really good vacation hair, because next year I, I plan on traveling. And I want some hair that I can get wet, and it'll be gorgeous, and then I can straighten it, and it'll be gorgeous. I don't have to worry about no comb, no brush, like, I've still yet to find my favorite hair yet so tag me in your guys's favorite hair companies see how that was kind of snagged a little bit so almost done i got one more piece to curl and then i'm gonna style the front okay. y'all got so much stuff going on right now it's ridiculous. I know y'all be like, you always talk about you're going to be consistent on here, but I, I promise y'all be trying to. So this is what the hair looks like. What it looks like in the back. Blowy. So now, let me show you guys how I'm going to style the front, which will be really easy because my hair is already straightened. Dang, I didn't bring no comb up in here. I'm slipping on my pimping. Oh well. So I'm just gonna part it with this. So I just go down. I like to do a deep part. That's why I left so much of my leaf out out, see? So just gonna brush this. And I'm gonna take a section of it. And just twist it, curl it a little bit, boom. So what I do is I go by the roots and I do it like up kind of so it can have some volume and I curl it some bam so then I just do this side which is very easy because it's only one piece I just go like that and I just make sure I just twist it once for the curl so that's what it looks like and then I just blend that in of course you want to put some to the back cover them tracks yeah. That's pretty much all I do. Oh, sorry. <sighs> Don't keep those away. So anyway, that's pretty much the finished products there. And then, of course, you know, you want to get those edges. I wasn't going to do it, but... So I got a couple of minutes. I did good in this video, y'all, because normally my videos be like 20 minutes, and I swear I don't know how to edit. So I just be throwing up videos like left and right. So I don't do no dramatic like edges type of look as long as they look nice and neat. And then right here I can do a little, do a bit of something. A little razzle dazzle. So yeah. That's just pretty much my my hair. So overall, I, if I had to rate the hair, I would give it a, I would say maybe like an 8. Yeah, I'll give it like an 8. I mean, for the price, I only paid $87, $89 plus shipping. So it came up to like $140 something. So overall... For the price and the quality of it, I've been having it for a while. As you can see, it's still nice and soft. It's nice and shiny. I didn't have to put any like oils in it. I will give it an a 8. So, that's pretty much it for my Kendra's Boutique hair review. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If so, hit that thumbs up. And then make sure you subscribe to see my next hair reviews that's coming up. Which is going to be the Diamond Dynasty hair. And you don't want to miss that one. So, thank you guys for watching my channel. Peace.